Howdy folks, it's Donnie here making one of my rare on-camera appearances and I'm doing so today because I want to talk about the feedback that I've been getting from the previous SystemD video that I made a few weeks ago. So yay SystemD, yay. But anyway, uh, the title of that video was Why SystemD? I just created it as kind of an introduction to SystemD and you know my eventual goal is to have a whole series of lessons on system D about how to deal with it how to use it and all that right but the, the thing is system D is very controversial I recognize that there are a lot of system D haters out there and uh, I got a couple of those system D haters commenting on the video and they gave, even gave me thumbs down on the video because they don't like system D. Okay, well, you know, that's their right. I don't care if they don't like system D. That's, Linux is all about choice, okay? Ah, except up to a certain extent, okay? But uh, the thing is, you know, if you don't like system D and you're just a plain old desktop user, you don't like system D, that's fine. There are other Linux distros out there that you can use if you want to, that don't have system D. But the thing is, I'm in the business of Linux server administration and of training people how to do Linux server administration. And I pointed out in that video, uh, first that yeah, if you're a personal desktop user, you got the choice. But I also pointed out in that first video that if you are a Linux systems administrator or if you aspire to be a Linux systems administrator you have no choice because all of the major players in the Linux server market have switched to System D. So you've got Red Hat and all of its derivatives, SUSE, Ubuntu, those are the big three players in the Linux server market. So if if you want to be a Linux if you want to be a Linux systems administrator, you have no choice but to use System D, right? I pointed all that out in that first video, but yet I had these these commenters coming in, you know, telling me about how evil System D is, about the flaws in it. Okay, you know, yeah, maybe it's not perfect. I acknowledge that, but they're also telling me, hey, don't. Please don't use System D. Please don't use any distros that use System D because, you know, we just don't want to encourage it. Well, I'm sorry, folks. If you would have watched the entire video, you would have seen. I told you, we have no choice if you are a Linux server administrator or if you want to be one. That's just the way it is. There's nothing we can do about it. We have lost that war. My own personal feelings about System D, they don't even matter. You know, whether I like System D or not, it doesn't matter anymore because it's there. It's what we have to use. No choice in the matter, okay? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's a choice in the matter. You know, you could go to your boss and uh, try to convince him or her to switch your entire enterprise network over to Slackware or Gen 2 in order to avoid System D. Yeah, lots of luck with that one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say on the matter. But uh, I do plan to create some more videos about System D, and uh, you know to you know help people learn how to use it. So uh, stay tuned, and if you like the videos, you want to see more. You know, just be sure to, to subscribe, like the videos, uh, leave comments, and uh, we'll see you the next time. All right? Ciao. Peace. Peace between System D and non-System D users, all right? <laughs>